Welcome to the GIS Essentials course. My name is Renee Kosh and I'm one of the GIS teachers at TAFE New South Wales Riverina Institute National Environment Centre. In this video I'm going to run through the online course and show you around the course site. When you first log in you will see a number of topics. Each topic includes a variety of learning materials including readings, web links and videos along with associated data so that you can repeat the activities demonstrated in each of the videos. To open the topics you just click on the actual topic and then to close it just click on the close icon at the top. You've been given access to everything so all the topics so that you can jump in and out of the topics as you like but the idea is that you'll work through each topic from left to right and then top to bottom but we've also given you a study plan to guide you on this. So to start with, you'll need to take a look at the Getting Prepared topic and work your way through each of the documents, including the Learning Guide. The Learning Guide provides information about the course. If you scroll to the last couple of pages, you'll see that we've um, listed the assessments and given the due dates. So um, week one, the short quiz is due at the end of week four. And then on the final page, we've given you a suggested study schedule along with the topics and when the assessments are due. So you'll need to have a look through that document. The suggested study schedule, we've provided a graphic. So if you're completing the course on a part-time basis, we would expect that you can complete the course in six weeks. So we've just given you some guidance on which topics you should aim to complete each, each week. So in the first week we would recommend that you um, finish the Getting Prepared, the Using GIS Software topic and the Defining GIS and Spatial Data topic. The next important document is the Student Assessment Guide which provides um, unit information and details on how you will be assessed. You should note that the units are different for each course, so make sure you look at the units relevant to the course that you are enrolled in. We ask that you review this information and then you click on the Student Assessment Acknowledgement and click on the Yes that you've received all the relevant information. The course checklist um, is really to allow for you to schedule when your assignments are due. So. For example, if you commence the course on the 1st of February, um, your first assessment would be due in four weeks from this date. So you'd need to put that date into this section saying the um, first assessment. The next section is the GIS software information, which provides some information about obtaining student software licenses. So for this course you can obtain student licenses for ArcGIS or MapInfo and you can also download QGIS freely from the web. However, if you're a Certificate 4 or a Diploma student, you should contact your teacher before um, you go ahead using QGIS. We've also included some information about free trials for ArcGIS and MapInfo, but just keep in mind that these are generally for 30 days, so they may not be um, useful and cover the full course time period. And particularly if you're undertaking a, a full qualification, you'll probably need to get the student license. The next section is a health check. So um, have a look at this section. It provides some information about um, ergonomic setup in your work er area. On the right hand side over here in the dark grey block you will also find links to a number of these documents under the student requirements and the assessment requirements. Um, some other things that are useful in this block is um, under course details you'll see access to the forum. So we encourage students to use the forum to ask questions and make comments. The next one is uh, join a webinar. So occasionally we might run a webinar and if that's the case we would let you know the time and the date 
and to access the webinar you can click on that and that will take you to a site for you to um, log into our webinar. The other area that would is useful to note is the resources. So the LibGuide, which is managed by our library to provide you with access to digital GIS resources, that's um, worth a look if you're looking for some additional reading material. The recognised prior learning guide provides information to anyone that by, might be interested in applying for recognised prior learning or RPL. And finally the contact details, so um, on this occasion my name's there, so um, there's my phone number and my email account, so if you have questions feel free to get in contact with me. We've also provided the address, the email address for our mining and civil services mailbox. So that's our group email box. So the idea of that group email box is that um, we'll divide that out to the teachers um, according to who's available. So you should get the quickest response if you send questions into that mailbox. So just quickly moving on to the assessments, um, it's always a good idea to have a look to see what the assessments are. Um, in the first topic we've just got how do I submit my assessments, so um, we've pro provided some videos on how to create a zip file, so when you upload your assignments, particularly your um, practical assignments where you're using the software, you'll want to create a zip file so that you can put everything together to upload it to our online learning management site, which we call Moodle. We've also provided a video on how to save a map package. So this is um, relevant only to our ArcGIS users. So it basically brings all your geo databases and all your um, map documents all together into one map package. That's a really useful tool. And then the last video is about how to actually submit your assignment um, through Moodle. Now the first assessment is the short quiz. So we've provided some details there. So um, we have some dates there about completing the quiz by the end of week four. It's a 20 multiple choice questions and you're given one attempt but you're given unlimited time so you basically can take as much time as you like until you hit that submit button. Assessment 2 is a risk management plan. Now the details are in this top link here. Assessment 2 develop a risk management plan that gives you the details of what the assignment's about and we've also provided a risk management plan template that you can use and fill out to submit. The last file is a cover sheet we really need you to um, complete that cover sheet and submit that with each of your assignments. The next two assignments are practical assignments using the software. So the top link, Assessment 3, Fishing Lake Hume, again that gives you details about the actual assignment. The second link is the cover sheet. And then the next links or documents that you'll need to download including the data will be the actual task and the data itself. So you'll need to download the task and the data relevant to the software that you're using. So if you're an ArcGIS user you would download those two documents. And then the same thing for assignment 4. Um, you'd need to download the task and the data according to um, your software. So the only other thing I wanted to mention was the videos. So in each of the topics you'll have readings and videos. Um, the idea with the videos is that you have two monitors, so one to run the video and one to undertake the activity. We've provided the um, data under the Using GIS software for, for the um, video activities. So under download the resources, just download the exercise data for your software. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions or just want to have a chat, please definitely get in contact with us via email or give me a call. 
or alternatively, um, if it's out of business hours, we definitely recommend that you use the forums. Um, there might be other students out there that can help you over the weekend, for example. We hope you enjoy the course and we look forward to hearing from you as you progress in your studies.